Speech off. Stay up there, you. <laughs> Let's do the video, but the cat. Hello, Queen. Hello. Hey, listen, I'm going to be quick because I've got to go to the dentist. But I've not been on Facebook last night. I was so upset. I'm not now. But you know, my son's in Mykos in uh, Greece on holiday. And he phoned me yesterday morning really ill. I said, Is it the alcohol? No, no, mum. He had tonsillitis. He suffers quite a bit, but he felt really bad. So he went to the medical centre and apparently it cost him 100 euros, he wasn't that big. And they gave him some antibiotics and collects there as well. And, and so uh, he went back to the hotel and the hotel people said, you shouldn't have gone there, it's a rip off. Anyway, it didn't matter. Then he phoned me up late at night and he, he said, mum, I'm really, really ill. He was all shaky when he was walking, he was going dizzy, so I was panicking. Mind you, my, my Freddie can be a bit bad on that. You've no idea how many times we got to the hospital. <laughs> and they got another one just for sure. But you see, as a mum, I was still panicking. I said, look, Freddie, just go to the hospital. Anyway, he went downstairs and sat in reception and chatting, uh, just drinking and trying to eat. I'll tell you. Uh, and so he phoned me back. I was awake all night. And so I said, go to the hospital, please. And I wanted to go over there, but I've got no passport. My passport's run out. So scared. Anyway, he said, right, mum, phone this morning. He said, I'm going to the hospital straight away. So he said, it's about 50, 60 miles away. So he went to get a bus. And he stood at the bus stop. And he said, across the road, there was this elderly couple. He said, never everyone was just walking past them. He said, they were stuck. He said, there must be something wrong with the car. He said, so... Uh, he went over, this is the martyr, I said, can I help you? He said he had a flat tyre. He never changed what I tyred in his life. <laughs> and so he was there 45 minutes, he took him, he said, I was sweating, mum. But I did it, and they said, where are you going? So they were a Greek couple. So he said, go to the hospital, he said, we'll take you. He said, no, it's miles out of your way. They said, no, 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 we insist. And they, they took him all the way to the hospital. And then when they got there, they said to him, um, tried to give him 50 euros, he wouldn't take it. But he said, I have a club, and it's only a club Freddie had been to the night before with his mates, called the Apollo. He said, I own the Apollo, you must come to my club, and you will not pay for drinks all night, we will look after you. And then he was smiling, uh, and then he stuck 50 euros in his pocket, and he just wouldn't have it. So, this is when you do something nice, something nice always happens, doesn't it, Quinn? So then he gets to the hospital, <laughs> it was short. I had to go to the other one, there's only two hospitals open that do emergencies, so I had to go to the other hospital. So we got a taxi there, he said the taxi driver was like a crazy man, driving about 100 miles an hour. He said like that, he said he was winding his wind down, swearing at all the other motorists. He said at one point he was going down the hill and it was like 70 miles an hour, uh, you know, and he was doing 100 going down the hill. <laughs> He said then his phone rang and he picked up his phone and started talking. I was driving a taxi with his knees. I shit it. Anyway, he finally got to the next hospital. He said, Mum, it was like being in Manchester on a Saturday night in a &E. It was full, but it was all Greek. He said, they're all arguing. He said, when you went to see the consultant, he's like just at a desk and they're all, everyone can hear what's wrong with you if you spoke Greek. And there's a dog walking around the hospital. He said, they're just a stray dog there, Mum. Anyway, they did some blood tests and it's a viral thing. So now, here he is, uh, in the middle of nowhere, like 60 miles, 70 miles away from his hotel. But he's at all, oh, it's quite nice. It's, then he's going to eat. I thought, well, there's me panicking all night. He's having this nice meal and he kept phoning me, but I was just so relieved he was all right. And he just got the bus, he's phoned me back to tell me he's got the bus from this hospital to the city centre and he can get a coach for four euros. It cost him £20 in that taxi just across. So <laughs> he said, oh, my, I might stay overnight somewhere. It's really nice. It's like Les Gala, that's the place we normally go in Spain. But he said, you know, Mum, I wouldn't have seen this part of Greece if I hadn't been dying. <laughs> that cat behind me. Don't trust. So, Freddie, I'm so glad you're okay. But it just goes to show, when you do something nice, it always comes back to you. So I'm going to the dentist now, and I'm terrified. He won't want to know, he's not even interested that I'm scared of the dentist. But honestly, I can't tell you how scared I was last night. Honestly, I felt sick. 
so I, so I couldn't go on Facebook and I, I'm not good, I thought I'm not going to tell it wrong in case it's really serious I probably would have phoned Joanne up in the middle of the night I was <laughs> but I'm glad they didn't and he looks as though he's all right and he said he might stay overnight because he's seen so many things that he wouldn't have seen had this not happened and he's talking to all the locals and they're all like dead nice to him so have a lovely time Freddie and you can go to the Apollo when you get back <laughs> and I've been awake all night he'll go to the dentist now because I'm scared out of the queen oh right so where that cat is I did a video before but the cat knocked it over and cut it off